In the city of Tulsa and the survivors of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre was dismissed. We've covered this ongoing process extensively here on Fox 23. Our Alexa Mostrom is live this morning in the Greenwood District. Alexa, the remaining survivors were arguing damage from the massacre was a public nuisance. Yes, that was part of their argument. That's what they said, is that the damage from the massacre was so bad that it was a public nuisance, and they were seeking compensation from the city of Tulsa because of that. Court records show that a lawsuit seeking reparations for the remaining survivors of the 1921 Tulsa race massacre was dismissed on Friday. The Tulsa race massacre demolished and burned homes and businesses in the Greenwood District a little over 100 years ago. The survivors filed a claim against the city of Tulsa seeking reparations. The three remaining survivors, Viola Fletcher, Hughes Van Ellis, and Lessie Benningfield Randall, had argued that the damage inflicted during the massacre was a quote, public nuisance, and they were seeking relief. They argued that the city of Tulsa was responsible for the act. They also wanted to recover for unjust enrichment that others have gained from the exploitation of the massacre. However, the city requested that the lawsuit be dismissed with prejudice, meaning they cannot file that claim again. The judge argued that being connected to a historical event does not give a person unlimited rights to seek compensation. In May, their attorney, Demario Solomon Simmons, voiced his support for the case. We think we put on a compelling case. The facts are in our favor. We will keep you updated as soon as we hear from the survivors and their attorney. Live covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostrom, Fox 23 News. Alexa,